Hey guys, Buffer Game Bad today bringing our video, and today we're taking the Wasp 9 or the IMI Uzi and converting it to the IMI Uzi in 45 ACP from the base 9x19 Parabellum. So go ahead and show you this conversion kit here in the game. Run into the, the uh, gunsmith with this or the, the gun range, see how it fires in the recoil control, go through some of the stat differences between the 45 ACP variant and the base variant, and then jump into some gameplay with some information about the weapons. So let's go ahead, back out, get right into it. Here is the Final design for the IMI Uzi, chambered in 45 ACP. Let's go ahead now and we'll back out and we'll select this weapon at base. So we're gonna go with the WSP-9 or the WASP-9, I'm just going to call it, um, for to make it easier with all the, the interesting Call of Duty names that they come up with here. So first you're gonna want the, the base WSP-9 or the WASP-9. This is gonna give you a base IMI Uzi, chambered in 9 by 19 Parabellum. So to change this out to the 45 ACP variant of the Uzi, which was produced. What you're gonna to wanna to do is first off, the conversion kit available for this when you level it up fully and unlock the aftermarket uh, part challenge is the Broadwater 45 kit. So this is going to the description, a high damage conversion kit that rides the line between submachine gun and assault rifle for hard hitting ACP rounds. Now, assault rifle is an interesting term. Potentially, if you put a longer, heavier barrel on it, maybe you can stretch it out with ranges. However, with the slow rate of fire here, definitely not would not use it as an assault rifle. But however, um, this is more of a close quarters weapon. You can see here the pros and cons of magazine ammo capacity is going to be um, increased. You also have the bullet velocity range will be increased, damage increase, recoil control increase, cons are ADS speed, fire rate, sprint to fire speed, and movement speed. Now, if we look at this, you can see the base Wasp 9 goes from just about 600 rounds per minute all the way down to a reduction of 25.9% or 26% to 444 rounds per minute, which is a huge decrease in fire rate. What you're getting with that is an increase of 23% in effective damage range, bullet velocity increase of 40%, minimum damage reduction of 20%, and then you're also getting overall damage increases. You can see headshot damage is up 16%, upper torso and uh, lower torso are up roughly 15 to 16%. Gun kick recoil is also reduced by 89%. However, you're taking more recoil, uh, movement speed reductions, things like that. So we'll go ahead and select the Broadmother Cat here for the 45 ACP conversion. Next up, you can see it's going to give us this wooden buttstock. So in real life, this is it. This is, was on not only the 45 ACP variant um, conversion kits, but even, even some of the old 9x19s. These are just, these are removable wooden buttstocks. That's all it is. So you can see you also have options here for different buttstocks, which um, make complete sense. None of these are, you have it here more of a polymer stock. So all these, I mean, this one here is is, is not not a real stock that you would see on an Uzi. Some of these, most of these are not. However, the, the, the fact is that this is a removable buttstock, removable wooden buttstock that you would uh, hit the, the clamp on top and just slide it out. And then you could put on any other buttstock. So you see them with other other more modern Uzi buttstocks on those versions as well. At base here, you're gonna have a suppressed barrel. However, in real life, the Uzis come with a 10.3 inch barrel here in real life. So what you're gonna wanna do for the barrel option, you can see we have a 12 inch short barrel. And then you also have a shorter barrel here for the, this is probably around also 12 inches comparing it to the 12 inch barrel. However, it's just a little bit of a dot design different. However, this is matches up more so with the real life barrel option that you would see. However, for the purposes of this, because we're gonna be using a suppressor, we're gonna run the WSP zip barrel. Now, assuming this is 12 inches, just as this one, this would kind of give us the two inch reduction down to 10. So um, aesthetically, it doesn't match. However, barrel length wise, it does match. So we're gonna go ahead and use the zip barrel, sprint to fire speed, increase, Pros are, or excuse me, the cons are damage range, bullet velocity. Now, we're going to go ahead and put a suppressor on this because everyone loves it. Old school Uzi was a suppressor. So we're going to run the Sonic Suppressor S. This is going to be <clears throat> that big kind of fat suppressor. Unfortunately, we don't have the same giant suppressor that we had in uh, Modern Warfare 2019 for the Uzi. I really wish we did um, that big one that you would have on the Uzi and the Odin, but we don't have it. So we're going to run with the next best thing that I can find here is the uh, Sonic Suppressor S going to give us the Suppressor Undetectable Radar, Bullet Velocity, and Damage Increase, with the cons being Aim, Walking, Steadiness, Sprint to Fire Speed, and Recoil Control. Go ahead and throw that on there. 
and that is going to be our conversion. You could throw a laser on, however, with these older versions of the Uzi, um, you can see there's really no attach points for this, so it wouldn't really make too much sense to throw something like that on. Optics, you could, if you want to put something on, they have a nice, uh, they have a nice rail uh, mount, which appears to kind of like bolt onto the side there. However, we're not gonna do that. Rear grip, the base rear grip I think is, is fine compared to, I mean, it's still not an exact match to what you would see with the old Uzis, but none of the actual pistol grips are. So you can definitely utilize an attachment option there if you want, just because I would say that the base is probably the closest you're gonna get. However, there's no right or wrong option. Now this conversion kit, you're locked with a 22 round magazine, which is accurate to the real life Uzi. Ammunition is fixed with base 45 ACP and you don't have an underbarrel option, which again makes sense given that there would be no point to uh, put an underbarrel option on there. So this is our final design. The IMI or the Israeli uh, Military Industries Uzi chambered in 45 ACP. You can see there we have the uh, magazine release on the um, on the side as well as the select fire switch on the side there as well. So the, and then you have the um, charging handle right there on the top where you would pull that back to charge. So let's go ahead now and we'll jump into the firing range. Also, you can see. The uh, trigger guard is a little bit funky compared to what you would see in real life, but you do have um, you do have three select fire options there on the left hand side. So this is our IMI Uzi. Go ahead now. We'll back out and we'll jump into the firing range with this thing. Do the inspect here. Now again, per real life, it would chamber. It would typically come in a. Um, I believe it would come in a 12 or a 22, or maybe it was a 16 or 22 uh, round magazine. So you can see this is what you have fixed here. So the 45 ACP version would typically be a 12, uh, 16 or a 22 uh, round magazine. So that's our 45 ACP. Now you can see the slow rate of fire on this and it does kick relatively heavily. So the slow rate of fire 488 or 400 and 44 rounds per minute, I believe it was. So it's slow, sustained automatic fire up at any ranges is going to get a little weird. See the shots to kill. Two shots there. Three. Missed those. Let's mount. So we have one hit, two, three. Switch to semi and see if it makes a difference to the body. One, two, one, two, three, one, two, three. So basically three shots, same full auto versus semi, it appears with this particular setup. Take a look at the recoil control here. If we don't control and let it rip. So again, it's straight vertical, easy to control. However, you are getting a lot of horror, uh, visual recoil more so than anything. So it's slightly pulling down on that and you're pretty much centered. I would recommend if you really wanted to put some sort of break or, or device on there to, to mitigate the recoil a little bit more. But you can see it's mostly visual recoil. Otherwise you're going straight vertical. So pretty easy to control. Go ahead and back out quick and we'll look at our camouflage options here. So you can see the camo options we have. The golden poison, not too bad looking honestly. You have the shattered rock, also a pretty decent looking camo. Um, the orange. Honestly, not terrible. I don't hate it. Um, you get a nice clean looking wooden buttstock with that one too. And then um, the orange sulfur is, again, not too bad. So the zombie ones you can see here, pretty good. The, the splintered is nice. I like the Oracle. So these are actually some pretty decent camos um, for one of the uh, the new Modern Warfare 3 weapons. We've see, seen some with funky ones, seen some with some good ones. So. That's what we have there. That's the IMI Uzi Chamber 45 ACP. Jumping to the gameplay here, playing on Invasion, just trying to utilize this. Um, again, close quarters as it should be used. Slow rate of fire. I'm, I find that it's honestly a little bit easier to just fire this thing attack stance because you're kind of eliminating that visual recoil. It's a little bit easier to get shots on target. Now, if we look at this weapon, again, it was developed by IMI or Israeli Military Industries, now known as IWI, which is Israeli uh, Weapon Industries. So they had a little bit of a rename there. Design period was in the 1950s. Other licensed producers of this 
where com large companies known as such as FN Herstal and Norinko, they, they had uh, licensed license to print versions of this weapon as well for the Uzis. It's been in service since 1954 through present. And it is actually, Uzi's been exported to over 90 countries. And more Uzi submachine guns were sold to more military, law enforcement, and security markets than any other submachine gun ever made. So that's that's a very good, interesting stat for sure. More, more Uzis were sold than any other submachine gun ever made to military, law enforcement, and security, security forces. So that's a pretty big stat. Again, it's a kind of a notoriously known weapon. Everyone recognizes what an Uzi is. The designer was Uzel Gal, which is the where you get the nickname the Uzi from. Design period was 1950, as I mentioned. The production took place 1950 through present. You have over 10 million uh, versions of this made, obviously being the largest sold submachine gun pretty much ever made. Um, makes sense, 10 million versions. Multiple different variants. The mass overall here is gonna be 7.72 pounds or 3.5 kilograms. The length, stockless versus stock folded versus stock extended, is going to be anywhere from 17 and a half inches, 18 and a half inches, or 25 inches. For this one here, where we have the stock extended or the fixed wind stock, we're going to be looking around 25 inches or 640 millimeters, with the barrel length being 10.2 inches, like I said, or 260 millimeters. Cartridges, again, this was a quick swap. Um, you could just kind of change this out with conversion kits for the barrel options. Um, it was able to fire the 22 LR, 41 Action Express, 45 ACP, which we see here, 9x19 Parabellum, and the 9x21 IMI round. The Action is a blowback open bolt system. The rate of fire is going to be 600 rounds per minute for the base Uzi, as well as here with the 45 ACP. I be believe it was still around 600 in real life, with other variants of the Uzi going anywhere from 950 to 1500 rounds per minute with the Micro Uzi and the Uzi Pros. The muzzle velocity is going to be 400 meters per second or 1300 feet per second with the nine millimeter vari variants. Obviously with the 45 uh, ACP version, you have a heavier round, it's going to be a little bit slower. Effective range 200 meters being that it is a pistol caliber cartridge. Um, Submachine gun, close quarters. It's, uh, the description of the game says bordering assault rifle, which is it's not a rifle round. It's still a pistol round. Feed system here for the 45 ACP version, like I said, it's going to be 12, 16, or 22 round box mag um, of the 45 ACP. In the sights, you only had iron sights. So these earlier versions, you really didn't see um, any optics or anything like that on these weapons grips until you had the Uzi Pro, which is a more recent variation of the Uzi, which we also have in game, which I'll probably cover in a separate video or the all Uzi type video. So let me know what you guys think of this weapon. Again, this is the IMI Uzi chambered in 45 ACP. Really cool weapon here. I'm glad they added this. We had something very similar in Modern Warfare 2019. Um, so it's really cool to see this this version back. Um, I believe they did a very similar ammo conversion with the foot of ACP in Modern Warfare 2019. So here they did it as a conversion kit. They I like what they're doing with the conversion because they're balancing the weapons out more. They're essentially making a brand new weapon, whereas in Modern Warfare 2019, I feel like it retained too many of the same base weapon stats, just with a different ammo um, type damage pattern. Whereas this one, you're getting more than just an ammo uh, change with the damages, things like that. So I think they're doing it right this time around. I really like what they're doing with this. And really, the next iteration of Gunsmith. Let me know, guys, thoughts down below. If you're enjoying the content, be sure to like the video. Subscribe to the channel. Best way to support the channel. Watch the videos. Uh, share share the videos and watch the ads. There's a join button down below if you guys do want to feel like joining. Um, that definitely helps with the channel. But again, the best way to support is watch the ads, share, comment, like, all that good stuff. Let me know your thoughts down below. We have social media links down below for Twitter, Instagram, um, Discord, all of that. Twitch, where I'll be doing live streams. We'll do member-only live streams here. Also, Buffmas is coming up right around the corner. We do have merchandise coming up here as well. I'm adding some Buffmas designs as well as um, some heavily requested oven bit designs. If you know, you know. Till next time, this is Buffner Gaming with the IMI Uzi Chamber 45 ACP. Till next time, Buffner Gaming, out.